I'm majoring in broadcasting here at MC, and my project is to study the role of a community college president. They have challenging jobs that require them to work with different boards, the public, students, employees, elected officials, and do fundraising. The responsibilities almost seem endless. Fortunately, they don't have to do it by themselves. Who are the people at this college that help you do what you do and support you every day? I am uh, very attuned to our governance system because not only do they help me understand the issues that are happening, they help you keep a pulse on the temperature of the college so you can kind of feel how things are going based on these moments. I obviously spend a lot of time with my senior staff because they are managing large divisions of the college and I can't be everywhere at any time. Uh, my chief of staff is indispensable uh, because this is the person who has to be the truth teller to me. Within the college, I also spend a lot of time walking around and you know who I listen to a lot of students. I stop and talk to students and say, hey, how's it going? Our custodial staff, they are phenomenal in telling you about things that you didn't know about the college community. Our faculty, they help us understand the student experience. Everyone wants something from you. How do you keep up? How do you know what they need and what they don't? I, the first thing I really try to do is practice mindfulness, that idea of being in that moment. And it's very hard. When I was early in my career, I never forget this, I was a dean, and I had a faculty member who stopped me in the hallway, and we were standing by the copy machine, and he was trying to tell me about something that had happened in his class, and it would have taken three minutes for him to tell me that story. Do you know because every time somebody walked past, I said, oh, Teresa, I need to talk to you about this. Oh, hey, you know, no problem. Let me and I remembered that it was probably 15 minutes by the time he ended telling me that story. And I thought to myself, Darian, you have got to work on being in the moment. If you're with me in this space, I try to pay attention to what's happening right here. Obviously, there's a lot of things at the college that need attention. How do you prioritize your attention and everything at the college? When I first arrived at the college, probably about two months after I'd been here, the previous president, Charlene Nunley, took me out to dinner and, and she said to me, Darian, you're going to have to hustle for the first couple of years of this job really hard. And you're going to feel like there's a never an end to it. You're going to be gone every night. She said, but if you want to do this job for a while, and if you want to also at the end of the day be healthy and have a family life that resembles normal people, you're going to have to learn how to balance, so you have to learn how to teach people about your limits. And I laughed it off. I was like, oh, okay, I'm a first year in this job. I know I'm going to have to work, and I get it now. They do have to hustle a lot, and most of their job is not done at their desks. MC has an executive assistant to the president. She's Ida Britton. In addition to her love of being on camera, in some ways, she runs the show. She knows Dr. Pollard's workflow and time management. She has to if things are going to get done. Each week I get a binder that I go home with on Friday for everything I need to know for the following week. On Sundays I carve out time where I do, I look at my personal mission statement I have, I look at my goals for that week and that month, and I plot it out. I try to read in advance so that when I'm in a meeting, I'm not thinking about the document for the next meeting that I didn't read, right? Um, I say no to some things. I may go to this pinning ceremony this year. I may not come back for a couple years because I'm going to go to this music concert. I'm going to go to this athletic game. And then in the midst of that, I've got to build in the community work. Our jobs are as rigorous as that of a four-year university president. It is as demanding as any other CEO position that's out there. Accountability measures are going up, calls for completion are going up. In the midst of that, we're trying to figure out how to be financially stable, how to have good stewardship of the resources we have. We do important work at this college. We are helping people to empower them to change their lives. We're doing that. After spending time with Dr. Pollard and studying what the role of a community college president is, I've learned that the job is like being an entrepreneur on behalf of their school. It's about finding the needs of the local economy, ensuring their college is getting the students ready to fill those needs, and building partnerships and support with the surrounding area to do it. On top of that, they work to make college education accessible to everyone. It's a tall order, but with a lot of effort and endless help from those around them, community college presidents work to ensure students are being prepared for their future. <laughs>